Hey YouTubers, this is me, Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art. I'll let you know that. Look, I have to take these glasses off because no matter what, they reflect. So it's just like, I can't actually see you. So it's kind of weird because I'm just looking at myself super fuzzy the way I see. Uh, so anyways, I wanted to get back to you and tell you thank you for subscribing to my channel. But I... You know, I almost, I have been dodgy on the Spreaker thing on my Age of Fission radio show. As many of you, anyone who is subscribing to my channel knows I've pretty much almost stopped. I do the Age of Fission radio show almost begrudgingly, I have to admit. I feel obligated to do it. And I have decided I'm going to do it once a week. I'm cutting it down to once a week because I can't really, I do feel obligated. That's the thing. I, I, it's like Tom says, it's my conscience. I can't stop doing it. It is the right thing for me to do. Oh, by the way, you want to see the right thing for me to do? I'm dying to show people this. Can you guys see that? Oh gosh. I don't have better lighting. I don't think the light will go better. This was like the right thing to do. Can you guys see? You have to go to my Instagram page and look for this little Santa hat. That's the right thing to do. Like, have fun. That's the point. The title of this video is called, let's admit it, it's way beyond the point of safe levels. I am, on my radio show, I am sick to death of talking about the levels of radioactive contamination and how high and oh my god it's so bad here and it's so bad there and blah, 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 blah. like i'm sort of like the women of st louis like just get fuck well i guess i can cuss on my own youtube channel <laughs> like just get the fuck over it like yeah we're all contaminated folks like we are beyond contaminated and let's admit it that's why we have diabetes schizophrenia cancer all the things john goffman said we were going to get we've got we are the generation of the cancers Look, schizophrenia is off the charts i have recently experienced it so let me tell you what it is very real um you know, when you are born near a nuclear power facility, your chance of becoming diabetic, schizophrenic, have autoimmune deficiencies, uh, being sterile, at least doubles, especially for girls. It's beyond the charts. It's nobody's fault, you know? We don't have to blame people. So... I really wanted to kind of rant about this because I'm going to come back on my radio show. Like I honestly, I've been doing YouTube for five years. I did, I did the age of vision on UCY.TV for three years and I missed that venue because it was super easy, but that's also why Jill's like broke down medically because she overworked herself. So I didn't really realize like the work it takes to put this together because I do all the bits and bobs now for KEPW. They just boom, play the show. So I do all the editing and it does take some time and two shows a week was way too much work for me to commit to considering that I have to change my life doing other things. Um, we're in dire times. This, uh, what was it called? The COP24 that just happened, the climate change thing where they're talking about how horrible the United States was. Did we hear any of them talking about the nuclear contamination? For real? Did we hear any? We did hear, you know what? Actually, that is true. We did hear the Native American people. We did hear the First Nations say, we have nuclear contamination. But did we hear from any scientists or doctors saying these levels of contamination all over the country are unacceptable? It's not just the uranium mines and it's not just the fracking mines because fracking country is all done on Native American lands. It's so devious. This is like, this is the thing. This is why I think we're in the middle of World War III. I actually think we're in the middle of World War III, to be really honest. Uh, I think it has begun. Let's just put it to you that way. World War III has begun. We're not in the middle of it. We haven't even hit the freaking middle of it because most people don't even realize the war is on. Like they still think that their governments are helping them. <laughs> 
And you know, this is the reality. I still vote. <laughs> but do I think that we have a secret government? Yes, I do. But do I think we have more power than them? Yes, I do. And this is kind of a weird, I'm very, this is one of the things, this is why I wanted to do this video. I wanted to like, boom, come clean. This is my coming clean video. Maybe I should change the title because it comes with the idea that you have to admit we are beyond contaminated. There's a certain level of freedom realizing that like we're fucked because then you can just be yourself and it doesn't matter and you can manifest whatever it is you need. This is a thing. I mean, I, I am one of eight children who came from an excessively tortured household. The details, how about that? One of the things that I can tell you is that I know that we are not living just in a physical body. Uh, we are spiritual beings. I don't know how we are. I'm not really like, ooh, you know, I'm not on the other side yet. <laughs> I mean, I have taken some rides and done some past life regression without my foreknowledge or even intention of doing it. It just happened and I'm like, oh, okay. So like that stuff's real, <laughs> you know? And I actually am of this mind that the whole Palladian thing, like, um, I think that there's other entities. I think that this empty space that we're seeing right here is filled with other beings and that's what we think are our angels. I don't think that we have like angels with wings and all this other stuff or maybe we do. Maybe we do that too. I mean, who the heck knows? That's the point of it all. I mean, this is kind of the existential question of all of it when we think about it all. Like we know we're living, we are frogs in the pot and we can't jump out. We're like swimming going, wow, man, what do we do? I don't know. This is pretty cool anyways in here. It's pretty nice. Let's go shopping, right? I heard on Amy Goodman's show today them talking about these people. We're driving and we're using less electricity and blah, 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 blah. But you know what? All of the food supply over there is deeply contaminated from the nuclear test caused by the Russian government. And that is probably the reality, like the whole, if people really gravely understood, we have a ticking time bomb in nuclear contamination. And this is partly why I wanted to close up my shop on the Age of Fission radio show, because I'm like, what the fuck does it matter? Like, when I first joined up with Kevin Blanche, I went, fuck yeah, we need the post-ignorance project. Like, we are post-ignorant. Let's get off our asses and get going. And guess what? Nobody got off their asses. They still don't get off their asses. And they're getting off the asses. Ignored. I mean, how many millions of people do we get in the street the day after Trader Trump was elected? Because people at a gut level knew this guy was a fucking traitor, which he is. And, you know, I'm not talking about a traitor who's like, oh, he hates the United States. In his stupid, dumbass heart, he probably loves the United States. He doesn't even know what fucking treason is himself. He's a fucking illiterate idiot who's just a spoiled brat who's had a silver spoon in his mouth all of his goddamn life. Huh. Even going to jail, he's going to have a silver spoon in his mouth. And he probably won't go to jail. His little brats will for him. Fuck. And this is the thing, when I think about all this like baseline stuff and then this other stuff that's going on in my head with all this spiritual stuff that springs out of me and then the radioactivity, it's like been fucking overload for me to be really honest. <laughs> like, and then I listen to Thomas Ackerman's, you know, articulate rants about, <coughs> about, what the meaning of life is essentially like he kind of gets down to it. I mean, he's a pretty good philosopher because he, he spends his day doing what he loves and he's committed to loving himself. Thank you, Tom, for teaching me how to love myself because you directly helped me learn some very primordial lessons that I never got from people because they were devoid of love before they even had me. I was number seven kid. Remember? Oof. So anyways, getting back to the Age of Fission radio show, I'm changing it down to one, one show a week. 
And on my Spreaker channel, I'm uploading, and actually, even in the Age of Fission radio show, I'm putting in Dave Parrish's show at the end of my little rant. I try to save 10 minutes for Dave every week now. And because I think every single person who considers himself, I am, to be honest, can I cuss? Like, this is the weird part. The FCC, from doing this shit on the KEPW station, I'm like all sort of nervous about cussing. And let's be very clear. I've had many white males tell me, oh, women shouldn't cuss on my comment sections. <laughs> but I almost agree. It's an excuse for words. So we do not need to swear. We can find other words that explain our frustration, I suppose, more eloquently. Uh, but this is the bottom line here. I do not get why Dave Parrish... P-A-R-R-I-S-H, does not have 26,000, 30,000 at least subscribers. Because you can't tell me out of 30 billion people on this guy dang planet that we do not have 26,000 people who completely appreciate the message that he gives, which is about getting off your ass, loving yourself, living your life, having fun, and still paying attention and being responsible. And being loving. His message this week was about forgiving. Like this whole business of people who have to pay forever. Once harmed, never forgiven is like, really? No. But I will say this. You can forgive and forget. You forgive them. And then you do not have to have contact with people that are perpetrators. That is that is kind of my lesson in life. Like I honestly, people that are perpetrators... Mm -mm. No. And this is the thing. I don't know how many of you have read Levi Halevi's book. Uh, yes, I glow in the dark. She was one of the, actually, she was the first person besides myself to make a direct correlation between the systematic pedophilia and the nuclear industry and their chronic lies. It's exactly the same thing. None of us asked, do you want to have nuclear contamination? Just like a child doesn't, they're not asked, hey, do you want to be sexually perpetrated? No, it just happens. It's forced on you by the powers that be. It's the same mentality, you guys. So we have to really get off of our asses. I mean, I joined the Post Ignorance Project because I really wanted us to make like a million mask man march. I wanted us, I, I invested quite a sum of money, which I'm just now par barely paying off four years later. But I am paying it off and thank God for that, that I have the capacity to do it. I didn't have to stiff anybody or cheat my way out of it. You know, and I am actually proud that I helped Kevin Blatch. As much as I think Kevin has personal issues and could use therapy, uh, I think his activism is valid. And I appreciate the fact that he's even willing to be out there, even though he exaggerates. Many people say that the way he does it, uh, it discredits the activists. I'm like, Fuck you. You guys are fucking discredited. Kissing your asses up to the oil industry. Oh, well, we're going to keep these leaking nuclear power plants open because we want to close down coal. Fuck you. You might as well say that your grandfather ran the blah, 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 or whatever it is. And like, whatever. I have an MHB in finance. Like, fuck off. Who cares? Who cares what your tags are? Who cares? Let's all just bullshit. Let's just be clear. But the fact is, it doesn't mean that Kevin's activism isn't great. You know, and to be honest, and I've never talked about this publicly, but it kind of hurt my feelings that David, Dana Dunford told me to fuck off because I love Dana's work. I just challenged the scientific validity of it. And actually, he stepped up his game and actually has created scientific evidence. And I'm proud of Dana, and I think he's great. That's why he can call himself a nuclear expert, even though he's unacknowledged by the nuclear fox. Oh, God. This is why I wanted to put out this video. Because I needed to just kind of come clean. We need to just admit we're way beyond the levels. We need people to just be honest, have a truth and reconciliation program. I'm unlike Dana. I do not believe in off with their heads. That's where Dana and I part. 
I do not believe in off with their heads. I do not believe. Fuck you. You're over. I think if you're like narcissist, this is one of the things I have learned in the last year. When you realize you're being harmed by a narcissist, which is this is all narcissistic abuse, to be really frank. Um, and some of it is sociopathic. Like some of it goes beyond narcissistic abuse. In fact, all of it does because the decisions are genocidal for fuck's sake and not even genocidal omnicidal they are destroying all life on this planet as we know it and they're hoping for like oh the best results maybe we're going to find a solution and blah 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 well you know what this is what i think i think we are not physical beings with a spiritual side i think we're spiritual beings with the physical side kind of the eternal optimist but that's because i think that we're sent here our spirit is sent here really to learn lessons but i think one of the biggest lessons that we have as human beings is to really totally enjoy where wherever we are anyways you guys put your courage feet on i love you all i can't actually see if anybody's here so let me see i'll put my glasses back on nobody's here Woohoo! love that part <laughs> It's always good to know nobody's here because then I feel a little bit freer, you know. So anyways, uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Put your courage feet on. Ciao.